good morning all so today i'll be discussing about how to perform and tune your mvc asp.net mvc application using glimps so i think most of you are aware of this awesome tool it is nothing but a free web diagnostic tool that every asp.net developer must use it is a very user friendly tool which uh, gives you um detailed diagnostic information about what is going on on your server side in a very lightweighted uh, javascript window that looks more or similar to your web firebug kind of web developer tools but it is not uh, it is not exactly your web developer tool it is much more than that i'll be discussing how you can use it and performance tune your mvc application so this is all about me you can reach me here swati ji at mindfirstsolution.com and i have been working with mindfirst solutions since last 3.11 years and uh, i have been working with mostly working with microsoft technologies like asp.net asp.net mvc sql server entity framework jquery bootstrap these things and these are the tools which i use on daily basis to make sure my application is optimized and it's not doing some uh, something which should not be accepted by the end, u- end users fx corp resharper firebug wiselo these tools you can use it on your client side chrome developer tools firebug i'm having experience in microsoft azure i'm currently i'm having three certifications html5 and css on asp.net developing building applications with asp.net and asp.net mvc so these are the things which i do on daily basis i love to refactor optimize and performance tune so in this seminar i'll be focusing on mainly how to optimize your asp.net mvc application using glimps what all information glimps provides and helps you to inspect your web requests web requests and tune it so i'll be discussing on glimps basically first how to set up and why it is needed how it is different from browser develop debugging tools or developer tools then performance optimize asp.net mvc application i have created two demo projects here which i'll be showing you and comparing time taken by the calls in both the both the application where we are in one project we are having conventional flow in another we have optimized it using glimps after that we'll be uh, focusing on how to uh, recognize your performance uh, applications bottlenecks what are the problems then inspect time taken by the calls using glimps what we can do to optimize it and the a uh, foremost thing is uh, we should not loop everywhere where i mean uh, since the time link has come into picture we have become very used to of looping everywhere if we want to fetch some thousand records we just loop through it and um, uh, fetch it we have to insert we loop through it and we insert it the concept of bulk insert has uh, completely gone so looping is uh, really really uh, th- it can really damage your application performance we have seen in our past applications also how we were looping through each and every record and uh, how it has decreased the performance so this these are the things i'll be showing you in the demo project then it comes demo of camo kendo scheduler recurrence flow and then i'll be comparing time taken by both the approach so the glimps the very first slide talks about glimps are you using it i think most of us have already used it how efficiently you have used it and that i don't know so let's go and walk through the glimps what it is and what all are the packages it provides so it's the it's nothing but it's a free diagnostic information tool what i have uh, told you and it runs on your server side like other browser developer or debugging tools it runs on your client side and gives you the information what is happening on your client side 
how much time it uh, your web request has ha is taking and what all are the things is, are going on on your client side with that we can see using our web developer tools but glimpse helps us to track uh, to track uh, everything whatever is happening on your server side directly in your page uh, which gets rendered into your browser and we can inspect all the calls it is a free tool you can install it you can use it and it works best with asp.net and especially the latest version what it provides for asp.net mvc it is really helpful it helps us to inspect routing configuration it helps us to know uh, what all uh, are are the views how the views are getting rendered in your browser what all are the paths are getting followed these things has been provided with the glimpse.net mvc plugin it is really helpful it is extendable you can create your own plugin and can attach it to glimpse package glimpse library and we have plugins available for entity framework and hibernate and inject and many more which we can help which we can use in our dotnet application the plugin which is there for entity framework that is glimpse.ef and uh, it depends on the version you are using for entity framework if you are using entity framework 6 then go ahead and install glimpse.ef6 so i'll be uh, i'll i'll go ahead and demo you how to uh, set up glimpse and it is very easy to set up you can use uh, you can install it by a nuget package depends on what application you are building if it is a core asp.net application you can install glimpse.asp.net if it is a mvc application install mvc depends on your version if it is mvc 4 it we have a plugin for mvc 4 if it is mvc 5 mvc 5 and so on and uh, so let me and you can turn on glimpse by launching your application and navigating to glimpse.ext and then we can start playing with it so let's go ahead and create a demo application let me show you how to set up Uh, this is the dotnet application i have just created now so uh, this is the asp.net mvc5 application we have to install package can search here the available package for glimpse and we can install it directly this is i am using command you get command to install glimpse mvc so successfully added we can see here so now we have 
the glimpse mvc5 what it does it it includes all the core packages which we need in our dotnet application see we have glimpse.asp.net glimpse.core and glimpse.mvc5 let's go ahead and install entity framework also here glimpse.ef6 we have all the references what we need to inspect our request using glimpse now the next step is to turn on glimpse for your website just run your application show you how to turn on it. it it's a one one step process it is very easy glimpse.axt this is turn glimpse on so this does nothing but sets a cookie which tells which tells uh, to the browser to send data it is highly secured it is nothing like um, um, I mean user can hack your information or something it runs with the default privacy settings with the default configuration which the time we install glimpse in the web config we can see some entries uh, gets added see the section name glimpse core configuration we can just search with the glimpse and see this these are the modules handlers these things uh, got added automatically in the moment we install glimpse in our application so with the default runtime policy uh, that is this default runtime policy it will run only on with your local host you won't be able to run and fetch data from your remote server if you want to install it on your remote server on your production environment or your staging environment we just need to the default runtime policy here we need to change we need to configure it and after that you will be all set to get information on your production or staging environment so we have turned it on go back to your website now we will be able to see when we can see when small this a uh, tab kind of thing which glimpse has provided us and it provides everything whatever is the moment we made request to the server glimpse has captured all the requests and it is showing in a javascript window we have uh, various tabs over there we can uh, go one by one and see what all the tabs provide us cache it gives all the information whatever is has been cached these are the cache items and the configuration the configuration tab gives us information whatever is set in our web config we can see what all are the things here the first one is app settings the version web pages client validation enabled through all things connection strings whatever is set in your web config it it is showing me local db these are the things whatever is there in your web config you can directly see it over there authentication nothing has been specified so nothing will shown over there role manager customer errors http modules http handlers which 
we don't have in our web config but here we'll be able to see each one of them directly over there the next is our environment this is showing me our server the local host server web server that is it is hosted at local server either it is ias the version of that framework it is using dotnet framework it can show you the worker process as well directly you don't need to go and see what is the process which is running behind time zone uh, sometimes we may uh, get stuck on some issues where in production we we have some different time zone and we uh, uh, the day, date time issue we may face so here we can see if if you have uh, configured your glimpse into your production or staging environment we'll be able to see what time zone it is using and we'll be able able to uh, solve our issues easily these are the assemblies application assemblies system assemblies everything we'll be able to see over there so the execution tab this in asp.net mvc application it gives us the entire execution flow the uh, since uh, since the time user makes and makes a web request how it comes how it reaches your controller what are the things uh, which happen on your server side time elapsed everything it will show you so the first thing when a, the controller this home controller what is the action got executed that is the index action method which is there in home controller if it is a child action method or not it will show you false or true category and then method time elapsed what is the time taken by each one method each of these method to get executed on your server side this shows us metadata information and this model binding tab is uh, disabled here because this is the fresh application which i just created and i am not doing any model binding i have not written any code custom code over there it just has uh, the default controller home controller and index controller as we can see these are the default controller which got created the time i created the application these are the request these are the routes this routes tab is there it it gets enabled when we install asp dot uh, the glimpse the package of glimpse which is there for mvc that is glimpse dot mvc so it tells us how your request got executed what are the path got followed so the it is controller this is the default path then action and then id which is optional you can provide or not controller home action index and id duration and everything the sql tab is disabled here because uh, there is nothing in this page i mean there is no queries getting executed this is the server it will tell all the http way, the server side variables and everything this the session tab is also disabled here because there is nothing in session we can go ahead and set and we can see how all the session variables the key value pair you will be able to track it over here you don't need to go and debug your application to see what are the session values the session variable holds it will directly show you here what as a key value pair ajax this ajax tab is very helpful when we have a big application we have some 30 40 ajax calls running on one single web page we'll be able to track each one of them separately and it will show us what are all the time elapsed how much time it, it took on our server side what all are the quer queries got executed and the route uh, configuration everything will be see over there and whether it is a ajax request or not it will show you true or false if it is ajax it will show you true if it is not it will show us false the history tab tells us or oh, it request it tracks or it, it ins we can we can inspect all the uh, all the url whatever we have made in the past for this website it tracks all the urls this is all about um, glimpse and these are the db these are the tabs which we can see over here browser request action 
सर्वर साइड वॉट आर और द डी बी क्वेरीज गॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड वी कैन डायरेक्टली सी ओवर हेयर इट्स गो हैड एंड जम्प ऑन आर नेक्स्ट स्लाइड दैट इज यूजिंग ग्लिम्स आई ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन वॉट आर ऑल द टैब्स ग्लिम्स प्रोवाइड्स वेन वी इंस्टॉल एस पी डॉटेड ग्लिम्स डॉट एम बी सी प्लग इन सो ईच टैब कंटेन्स डिफरेंट डायग्नेस्टिक इन्फॉर्मेशन इट हेल्प्स इन ट्रबल शूटिंग प्रॉब्लम्स वी हैव प्लग इन फॉर एंटिटी फ्रेमवर्क विच आई जस्ट इंस्टॉल्ड एंड विच शोज अ सीक्वल टैब ओवर देयर विच ट्रैक्स और ईच एंड एवरी क्वेरी विच गेट्स एग्जीक्यूटेड वेन वी ट्रैक इट वे ग्लिम्स इट इज सिक्योर्ड एज आई टोल्ड यू बाई डिफॉल्ट यू कैन एक्सेस डेटा फ्रॉम योर सर्वर फ्रॉम लोकल होस्ट ओनली इफ यू वॉन्ट टू कन्फिगर इट इन योर प्रोडक्शन और स्टेजिंग एनवायरमेंट वी कैन डू इट बाई चेंजिंग आर रन टाइम लोकल रन टाइम पॉलिसी सो द मेन डिफरेंस बिटवीन डिबगिंग टूल्स एंड ग्लिम्स इज ऑल द डिबगिंग और ब्राउजर डेवलपर टूल्स दीज टूल्स रन ऑन क्लाइंट साइड इट ट्रैक्स ऑल द इंफॉर्मेशन वॉट एवर इज हैपन ऑन योर क्लाइंट साइड बट ग्लिम्स इट ट्रैक्स एवरीथिंग वॉट एवर इज गेटिंग हैपनिंग ऑन योर सर्वर साइड सो दिस इज द मेन एडवांटेज ऑफ ग्लिम्स एज इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू ट्रैक चेंजेज वॉट आर ऑल द क्वेरीज गॉट एग्जीक्यूटेड हाउ मच टाइम ईच क्वेरी टूक टू 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 बी एग्जीक्यूटेड दीज थिंग्स वी कैन डायरेक्टली सी ओवर देयर इन जावर स्क्रिप्ट कंसोल विंडो दैट मोर और लेस लुक लाइक आर ब्राउजर डिबगिंग टूल्स सो इट एज आई टोल्ड यू इफ यू वॉन्ट टू इट कैन बी यूज एज अ प्रोफाइलिंग टूल टू गेट अ टाइम लाइन व्यू ऑफ वॉट्स हैपनिंग ऑन द सर्वर वी कैन यूज इट इन आर प्रोडक्शन इन्वायरमेंट और आर स्टेजिंग इन्वायरमेंट डिपेंडिंग ऑन आर नीड्स सो so we all uh, got to know what glimpse uh, can do what all it is all about so let's go ahead and see some demo application and use it to performance optimize our sp.net application when we say performance optimize uh, the two main things come in our mind that is uh, one is client side optimization second is server side optimization so client side optimization uh, i'm sure most of us have uh, done it in your application that is few points includes bundling minification that is the first point which comes in our mind and uh, uh, i have a checklist document also performance checklist doc document for uh, client side uh, these are the things which we should follow when we are uh, tuning our application when we are doing client side optimization and uh, ajax uh, should be used consciously we should not make it a sync false uh, these are the things bundling minification javascript should be at the bottom we should include only those uh, js files which we need in our page so these are the things which uh, as this seminar doesn't aim at improving client side uh, i mean uh, it doesn't aim at client side optimization uh, so i'll be skipping these points which this i think uh, we all are aware of how to optimize your sp.net mvc application client side so i'll be explaining on server side optimization which we'll be doing using glimpse by inspecting time taken by the calls in the glimpse uh, let's go ahead and see one of the application one of the code base which we took from legacy code uh, which one of our legacy code base application so here we have a method that is for to save recurring availability availability let me just run this application the demo application i created just to show kendo scheduler it has nothing it has only one kendo scheduler which where user can uh, schedule their availability availability so this is a kendo scheduler we have here on each slot user can schedule his availability
this is the uh, new availability window here we can set start date end date start time end time and uh, via video phone or video and this is the recurrence availability option user can set it here whether he, he wants to set his availability on a daily basis on a weekly basis on a monthly basis on a yearly basis so when a user uh, selects never here and just uh, set his availability for one time that is start time end time and with the start date and end time end date it is straightforward it makes one entry in, in our appointment table in our database and while reading appointments it will just fetch and show but when a user selects to make it as a recurrent appointment and want to set it uh, let's say a daily basis for uh, you can say for next year that is from today to next year on a daily basis from 3 to 310 user want to set his availability so what internally what it does it one by one it inserts into appointment table it makes one entry and then while reading it fetches one by one one by one and then it displays in day view in week week view month view and the event list so how many days we are looking here for one year more than 365 days so 365 times it is making entry into appointments table so these were the things which we were seeing in kendo scheduler so which were obviously not looking good and it it is just one year if we can go ahead and set it here for next 5 years so we can um, see how complex it is and how much time taking it is the whole process this we uh, had to optimize and we did it using glimpse we inspected all the calls all the sql queries which uh, which were getting executed and the time it was taking so let's say go ahead and create for one year it got created let's open our glimpse save provider availability this is the method here the availability is getting saved and it took some 2000 some millisecond 2300 milliseconds and after that we are reading and doing whatever is the business requirement we had to do so here we can see the save provider availability took uh, some 2300 milliseconds so this just doesn't look good just to save provider availability we don't want to spend this much time so we went ahead and let me show you another application this is the scheduler demo after that i'll be showing you the code which was written behind it in our so this is the code which we took from one, one of our legacy code base and it is such a huge method so this is the code which this is a very huge method which just doesn't look good for daily for monthly for weekly for yearly it just goes on, on and on and every time it loops through uh, the record and it makes one entry into appointment table as we can see it is uh, more than 2000 lines of code in just one single method this is the application this is a demo application <coughs> which we created and removed all this code and use bulk insertion instead of looping through each one of the value we used bulk insertion and created one sp to handle monthly weekly daily everything in inside one sp let me do the same thing what i did in our one of our app, in the previous application 
let me create a daily recurrence for an year starting from today we can see here save provider availability it is just sending in 776 millisecond so from some four digit number to three digit number we have landed isn't it awesome so the this is the thing here the code complexity has reduced we came out of looping instead of unnecessary looping one by one loop through 365 into 3 for 3 years and then make entry into appointment table we created a SQL I will be showing you what we did here so this is nothing the same thing we have taken these as a parameters start date end date start time end time and the occurrences recurrence frequency what are all the options we see in the UI these options we have taken as our parameters in the SP and then we created uh, you can say it is a lookup table that is a calendar table and we inserted some uh, um, some thousand years or some sorry we inserted yeah thousand years as a date value and nothing the calendar table holds nothing just a date and uh, key and date so it it holds dates uh, for next um, 100 years and so what we do is when we create a recurrence appointment first we make an entry into re recurrence appointments table and we uh, get its reference from there and then if it is a daily we are using it with the, with the help of our calendar table which holds nothing but uh, some dates from uh, uh, we just inserted from our uh, understanding for next hundred years and here if it is to calculate the end date we are checking if there are occurrences if we say we want to create availability for five occurrences so we are adding it to the our end date we are finding our end date and inserting into our appointments table from calendar so this is a bulk insert happening over there instead of looping for 365 uh, days also or we want to create it for three or four years we we just need to calculate our end date based on date add sql built-in function and date dip sql built-in function and we uh, we can insert into appointments this is a bulk insert same with weekly we just need to find the end date based on the date add built-in function if it is weekly we have a week param here if it is a daily we have a day param here if it is a monthly it's a month we just need to calculate our end date and insert it into appointments table so this is a very uh, straightforward and clear SP which we wrote and optimized it from some uh, 2500 milliseconds to 700 millisecond. I hope it is clear to all of us. We can see more over here. The read appointments is taking 120 milliseconds. Get all appointment type. These are the Ajax requests which was made when we loaded scheduler. These are the DB queries we can see. Uh, we have a SQL tab over here. So uh, th these are the queries which I was saying when we have uh, when we install Entity Framework plugin for Glimpse, we can see the the exact SQL query which got executed for that request. We can see how many queries got executed with this request. Let's go ahead and move on to our next slide. I have already, let me show you what was written over here. I have already uh, shown you about exactly what's going on. It was looping through all the uh, dates what we select from the UI if it is a daily uh, daily recurrence and it is set for next one year so for 365 times it loops and enters into appointments table if it is monthly it, it does accordingly 
so using glimpse we we saw how we optimized it from some 2500 millisecond to 700 milliseconds and uh, the sp i have already uh, shown you what we did it is a very straightforward and simple sp the complex thing what we were doing in code we optimized it just by using some uh, sql built in function we calculated the end date and bulk did a bulk insert into our appointments table so uh, what all are we gained using glimpse performance gain obvious it is visible from glimpse app and some thousand lines of code we just Uh, made it in hundred lines of code. So uh, in your code review also you are safe. So uh, these are the things which we gained uh, by using glimpse. So isn't it awesome? Awesome, I think it is. And I'm sure it is. Go ahead and use glimpse wisely. Performance tune your MVC application as the latest plugin which we have. from glimpse for mvc application is really helpful that that was all from my side i want to show one more thing the glimpse what it has for us this is the site we can you can install from here as well this is the diagnostic platform for the web i have told you full diagnostic available when needed heads up display i have display i have uh, demo how to track all the changes server side changes it gives us detailed online a detailed narrative of what is happening transparent data access i showed how what all the queries got executed at server side i displayed over here how it is showing here we can see over here how much time elapsed how much time it took to get executed and for mvc application it shows us the complete rendering and resolution what how it, your web page how your view got rendered into your browser route debugging server configuration and everything the mvc what you can see in your web developer tools you will be able to see with the help of glimpse in your browser so uh, these are the things if you want to learn more about glimpse you want to use it wisely you can uh, visit this get glimpse.com it has more to learn for you to learn uh, that is all from my side for today if anyone has uh, anything from your side please let me know Okay, go ahead and use it. Take a glimpse of your ASP.NET application, how it is behaving.